we have an airplane and the airplane starts at a certain position and the position that it starts at is 327 so where do you see 327 in my vector it's the point right so point is the starting position then time t you go in some time t okay what is 3 4 10 what is that that is your direction that you're going now if you want to know the speed you take the magnitude or speed here as you write magnitude of the direction vector I bet some of you got this already. Square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 10 squared. That's the square root of 125. That's how fast that plane goes along the line. Now at 1 o'clock or 1300 hours, a second plane leaves. So here is your starting point. And then it goes, after two minutes, it's at a new point. Now how could we find out the um, direction that it goes? We'll just take 3 minus negative 5, take 16 minus 10, and then take 39 minus 23. Now when I do that, I get 8, 6, 16. That's not 4, 3, 8. Why do you divide by 2? Very good, Julie. Two minutes. It took two minutes. So if you divide by two, if you divide by two here, you're going to get their direction vector, 4, 3, 8. So that's how they get that. All right, now it says, show that its position vector. Okay, we did that. Now the airplanes are going to meet. At what time do the airplanes meet? So I'm going to take this guy. You guys are doing very well, by the way. I'm going to take these X's. And these X's have to line up, right? So it would be, they're, they're coming like this, the X's have to line up. Now, if the, they line up here, they're not necessarily going to meet. If the Y's line up here, they're not going to meet. What are they? If they're going to meet, what has to happen with the Y's and the X's? Meet at the same point. So we're going to check to see if that's true. X is equal to 3 plus 3T. Three X is also equal to negative 5 plus 4T. Okay, so there's a nice little value here. If we add 5, we get 8 is equal to 4t minus 3t, which is t. t equals 8. Okay, at what time do they meet? t is equal to 8. Now, we're going to see if uh, they both meet at that. So let's double check. Take the, uh, the next one, and that's going to be this second line here, this second line. And so if we take that, we're going to get y is equal to uh, 2 plus 4t, which is equal to 10 plus 3t. And so get rid of that y. And so if I subtract 2, I get 8. Subtract 3t, I get t. Does it work? Yeah. And it would also work if you did the z's. Find the position. Well, if t is equal to 8, you just put that into that top part. X is equal to 3 plus 8 times 3, which is 24. And then Y is equal to 2 plus 8 times 4, which is 34. And then Z is equal to 7 plus T, which is 8 times 10, which is 87. So there you have it. We'll finish this one off when you get back. Yay. All right, so what we're going to do last, we found the time. We found the position by putting that, that 8 in for T. And so the position is 24, 34, 87, I believe. That's point Q. So it'll be 27 for this one. Thank you. Any other ones? I think that's okay. So now the only thing that we have left to do is to find the angle between the two... Uh, the angle of the two paths. So to do that, which part of the vector, the point or the direction vector, do we find, uh, do we use to find the angle? The direction. So we're going to take the direction of this one and the direction of this one, and we're going to use those two to figure out the angle. So I like to just call one A, which is 3, 4, 10, another B, 
which is 438. Okay. 438. Find the magnitude. That's how long that vector is. 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 10 squared. Look at it, look at how fast I can do this in my head. Squared 25. Why did I do that so fast? It's the answer to the first problem. Then the magnitude of B is just going to be square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared plus 8 squared. And that's going to be the square root of 89. How did I do that so fast? Because I'm a math teacher and I can add. Yeah. All right. So next thing we want to do is the dot product, A dot B. Now that is, I like to put them side by side. So you have 3, 4, 10 dot 4, 3, 8 equals 3 times 4 is 12 plus 4 times 3 is, thank you, plus 10 times 8 is 80. So that's going to give us a total of 2,404. So to figure out the angle, you're going to go theta is equal to the inverse cosine of the dot product, a dot b, from the magnitude of a, magnitude of b. So the dot product was 104, magnitude 125, 89. Did anybody get that angle through calculators? Go ahead and get that. Nice, nine degrees and 35 minutes, so we'll just round it to nine degrees. That's the angle in those two planes come to. So the idea of this is that we have two paths, two paths, and as you look at the, the direction, you can find the uh, time where they intersect and the intersection point, you can find the angle which they come together. 